Congratulations on your new baby boy. His name is... It just seems to me like the child's future ain't in mind when they pass out these names. And I shouldn't have been surprised because the mom name was LaGloria. We're not going to talk about that. But see, the wildest part about this video, not even the fact that you named your kid Philly Cheesesteak. It's the fact that your kid is Philly Cheesesteak Jr. Meaning somebody else has this name and they decide to pass on the punishment. I saw this on the internet. Remember when we used to skip school for a nap on the bathroom floor? And I would venture to say... I you know, I always found it funny how people like to toss in that word, we. Because what you mean, we? Ain't nobody else participating in that barbaric activity but you. Okay, why would you even skip class to go sleep on a public bathroom floor? That's crazy, fam. You could have just hit one of these. You know what I'm saying? You better off getting kicked out of class and just getting sent home. And see, this is why I be saying them folks over there built different. This got to be over there by Russia somewhere. Because you know how terrifying you got to be where Frost don't even want to bite you? She got to be related to Olaf now, man. Frosty the Snowman got to be her uncle or something. This don't make no sense, fam. She chose that alchemy skill tree on Skyrim, man, and maxed out that frost-resistant potion. Oh, <laughs> when your friends say they know a guy, this the guy. Yeah, and that actually seemed like it'd be kind of cool for about five minutes, and then that sound gonna get on my nerves. But what I really want to know is, how we get a pack-a-punch tattoo gun before GTA 6? This don't make no sense, fam. He got that out the mystery box. The hot dog and the chicken bait, and take out the cheese and lay it. What am I doing? <clears throat> well, uh, brother man, that just depends on how you look at it. Now, either you're dying early, or you're dying happy. But you ain't gotta die alone. If you give me peace. If you're taking excessively too hot showers, this is for you. There's some natural oils. Hey, brother, I'm going to save you some time. They not listening. Okay, the people that like to bathe in that boiling hot Satan water, the only thing they care about is how it feel, and it feel good to them for some reason. Them folks come out the shower looking like second gear Luffy. Nah, that ain't no run. This is what people be talking about when they say somebody was skedaddling. That boy's scary. And boy, he got that zoinks like school run. Come on, fam. Mm -hmm. This is what happened when them alligators see you later, boy. Them some big brain players. They out here spawn trapping, boy. Just like an alligator buffet. But did anybody else get the sudden urge to try and run and drop across their backs like it was a game of Frogger? Okay, we're not finna skip over the fact that this man is shredding and skis on grass. I mean, the joke is funny, though, because, like, he's skiing and ain't no snow, but, like, He's skiing and it ain't no snow. I hope y'all know we probably gonna die, fam. Like, we here for a time, not a long time. I said eight times because it ain't been that good. I need it. But use both your eyes. Nah, use both your eyes is crazy. But it's even wilder that he did it immediately, bro. This remind me of that episode when Karen had to remind Plankton to blink. You telling me that 2024 got DLC insects already? How we get a Barb Marley beetle before we got GTA 6, man? We got a Rastafarian war roach before GTA 6. That don't make no sense, fam. Watch claws are for poor people. Yeah. So, yeah, I only have one friend use one. So this has been going around and it's causing controversy because Tom Segura said that washcloths were for poor people. And he made this joke about how his black friend is the only person to use it, you know, because it's for the poor. And, you know, me being a poor black guy growing up, maybe it's some merit to it. But that's besides the point because he went on to say that he washes himself with his bare hands. You ain't did enough manual labor for your hand to be rough enough for that, fam. That don't make sense. And I don't care how much money you got. It ain't never going to be enough to make me look past that century. Your whole podcast probably smelled like gym socks and wet dog. You know what I'm saying? And they was agreeing that that was the right way to do it. And it's funny because when we invite people to the Xbox party for the first time, we always ask them, when you bathe, what do you use? And every time somebody says they use their hand, they get invited to the worst row session of their life. And they always go to at least using a glove or a loofah. Let me tell you something. Once you done got accustomed to them gunshots, man, or you done got shot at a couple of times, this going to be the first thing to come to your mind when you hear a gun go off. But like, man, what they shoot? You know what I'm saying? Because like, it's no fear in it no more, bro. Which, I mean, it's probably not a good thing, but it's like, I remember we'd be hanging in my friend's house, bro, and a gun would go off. I'm like, man, what they shooting? And then we'd just sit on the floor and keep on doing what we was doing because, you know, in reality, you can't even stop the bullet anyway. Does anyone else put hard-boiled eggs in their spaghetti? Uh, no, actually. You want to explain to us why you do? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume you probably put raisins in your potato salad, too. 
Does anybody else not get invited to the family gatherings? I bet you don't. This is a PlayStation 5's release, and I know this isn't the only one that has so much dust. Dust? Brother, that's like desert sand. That's crocodile devil fruit right there, fam. Like you played Prince of Persia on a PS5 and a pit of powdered plywood. Now you can't even say that fast. You want natural Botox? Just don't emote with your forehead. I haven't em Ah, that poor child. She don't understand. So allow me to explain. Wrinkles are not just a sign of aging. It's a sign of life and a life lived. So a life without wrinkles is a life without emotion. And a life without emotion is empty. So even if you go through the rest of your life without nary a wrinkle on your forehead, understand, by the tender age of 70, your neck will still look like a scrotum. And in the end, I'll still have to guide your soul to the crossroads. People out here that's real life terrified of being by themselves. I'm not one of them people. When I first got introduced to loneliness and solitude, I didn't embrace it with open arms because I didn't choose to do that myself. I just was, you know, I had to get used to it because it was going to be like that for a long time, little did I know. And I got so good at it, you know, so used to being alone that I preferred it. So then the slightest inconvenience or a stressor caused by another person, it was easier for me to detach from them than it was to talk to them and deal with these problems. And that caused me to not build relationships with great people that I met later on down the line because it was just simpler in my book. Um, so I always advise people to learn how to be alone because then you can function in a way that most people can't. And, and you know that you're not trying to fill holes in your life with people because you already provide that for yourself. But still allow yourself to welcome in these people that mean well into your life, man, because it's way better with them. <laughs> Boy, let me turn around and find my child crawling like that. They're going to become the youngest homeowner that ever lived. I swear for the Lord, boy. Could you imagine being a first-time babysitter and the parents just completely forget to tell you that their child is a skinwalker? Boy, that'd be terrifying. You turn around, boy, I'd mess around and punt at that baby. How do you get off landmines? Uh, you, you know, bro, life is really all about perspective, man. It's, it's about how you look at things. You know, you could look at it as trying to get off of a landmine, which, I mean... We all know you're not getting off that in one piece. You could just look at it as like, how do I get to go see Graham Graham again? My signature, addictions on the rise, comedians check your temperature. Yeah, he guilty. Yeah, yeah. I hadn't seen Ludacris in my For You page in all my time of being a content creator. And it's the first time I see him. He done struck a nerve. Boy, Cat got him acting different. This man has been driving cars and saving a day for the last 10 years. And now Cat done made him start rapping again. Let's talk taco etiquette. Now, tacos, the Mexicans. First of all, I'm not taking advice from anybody that pronounced tacos as tacos. Secondly, etiquette is the last thing on my mind when I'm eating a taco. Okay, I'm trying to get down and dirty with it. I want to be able to make another taco off the stuff to fill off the other tacos that I ate. <clears throat> uh, brother man, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, you got an oil spill on your sandwich. Yo, yo, you put any more oil in that sandwich and America gonna come set it free. Hey, boy, and I was gonna ask for a piece. Soggy bread sandwich. That's the equivalent of a wet sock. One. Awesome. Oh, there's more nope in this video than a Matumbo block compilation. Now, let's just entertain the idea that I was crazy enough to do this in the first place, which, if I'm being completely transparent with y'all, I actually would. But, that's besides the point. Can you imagine climbing all the way up to the top of that and repairing whatever it is that needs to be fixed and then climbing back down? See how, see how stupid that sound? Exactly. Jumping off is the only option, okay? Even if I ain't got the parachute. Have you ever tried gak fruit? This is one of my favorite fruits in the Tried? I've never even seen gak fruit. Where are y'all finding this stuff at, fam? It's like a devil fruit to me. I'm trying to eat it and see what power I get. Then it got a brain on the inside of it. A nucleus. Come on, fam. They're like bloody pumpkin insides. I'm not eating that. Happened. For them to need this sign. So we all know that if there's a sign or a warning, it's usually because something went wrong and they're trying to prevent it from happening again, you know? But I thought about it and I was like, dang. You know, when, when that alligator says, see you later, I'm pretty sure what happened afterwards wasn't what he had in mind. Stop! Stop! You know, it's funny to me for multiple reasons because 
I've been stabbed six times. Now, granted, two of those times I stabbed myself on accident, so I can't complain about that too much. But I remember, like, I stabbed my thumb and it was blood shooting out. And I got a roll of toilet paper and just held it there until it stopped bleeding. And then I wrapped it up. Now, granted, my finger was purple and I thought it was going to fall off. But, I mean, I made it. So, you know, a lot of times in my life when I was supposed to go to the hospital, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I wasn't dying or broke something, I just figured it out. And it reminded me of a poem that I had wrote once about the streets. I was like, uh, the streets will hit you with a double barrel. And then you're going to need a pair of medics. And if you're leaking in the streets, you better hope they're sterile because you can't afford to ride with paramedics. Because when you po, you really just got to wing it and hope you don't die. Explain to somebody who's never spent a lot of time in the South that some of the best Southern food you can... There's this gas station a little bit away from my house in Mississippi. And they got this establishment inside of it called Crispy Crunchy. Or as some people like to call it, the Crack Chicken. And there has never been a more fit in name. Okay, that is the crispiest, crunchiest, crackliest chicken I've ever had in my entire life. And, and some establishments, you know, they like to be raising canes because that's what they food tastes like, elderly walking assistance equipment. But them, they raising the standards of chicken, okay? They chicken so good, you don't even need to put sauce on it, fam. If you ever find yourself in Mississippi, you got to go try it. We've been in this Airbnb that's got, for some reason, a whole bunch of upside down pineapples. Hey, fam, I'm not trying to ruin your trip or nothing, but... You know, I don't really know another way to tell you, so I'm just going to put it out there. They be swinging, fam. Yeah. And I ain't talking about baseball or martial arts either. They be getting down. You turn on the black light, there's probably more children in that room than an orphanage. They don't blew out more backs in there than a bad chiropractor. Oh, God. That's got to at least be a yellow card, fam. He had my boy folded like a flip phone. Had him head over heels like he just fell in love, but don't worry about it, though. He broke his fall with his neck. Or broke his neck with that fall, but I hope he okay. Brother man, oh, you're not done yourself. Now, normally I wouldn't even need no piece with bell peppers on top of it. But that one looks so good, I'd take a bite of it right then and there. Been done, burnt the roof off my mouth, talking about hasafa, hasafa. Mm hmm. Give me peace. Oh, come on now, give me peace. you gonna make me big. Give me a piece of that piece. Piece. Give me a piece of that piece. Piece. Big piece. Little piece. In between piece. In a piece. Just a piece. I'm just trying to eat. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me peace. I'm this in the woods. I'm going to see if I can show you guys. No, no, I think we'll be all right. We don't need to see that, fam. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just leave it alone, okay? Don't call nobody. Come and try to examine it. Don't, don't do not do none of that, man. As a matter of fact, when you leave, delete the footage. We're going to act like we ain't see nothing. All right, 2024 just started. We already off to a shaky start. Cat Williams done broke the internet. We got dude uh, tackled the judge, tried to put the minkets on her, bro. Turned the five-year sentence into a life sentence. He's stupid. You know what I mean? They done found 200-something bodies behind a police station in Mississippi. They out here killing folks. Crazy. Man, we don't, we don't need nothing else going wrong. Y'all can touch that thing. It's going to be demons and skinwalkers everywhere. It's a chase. It's a chase. Oh, no we're catching that. Somebody get that man a hell cat. Now, I don't know if y'all know this, but it's a chase. Well, at least an attempt at one. He just juked the axles off that cop car. He gonna need an alignment after that. But bro was cooking in that turn. I hope he got away. <laughs> so, my fellow peasants, uh, I don't know if y'all knew this. I mean, probably not because we're not in the tax bracket to even afford to think about these types of things. Uh, apparently, there's communities where everybody owns the aircraft and they just be flying home. You know, I couldn't even imagine this if I didn't see this video. And it's crazy because, could you imagine living there, fam? You trying to take a nap and all you hear is your old neighbor starting to piss airplane? I had it before and you all rave about it. Let's try their foot long hot dog. Like, look, look at, look at this guy. Uh, <clears throat> brother man? Nah, nah, I'm just on the outside looking in, but seem like to me you want that hot dog to get you peace. I'm not gay, but do I think about having with women i'm not suicidal i mean do i think about blowing my head smooth off my body sometimes absolutely that's what you sounded like you know i think the first step to take is just accepting it you know admitting it to yourself and then you can head down the path that you want to go on and it's not a straight one but that's not really why we're here though i want to take this opportunity to tell y'all that i have a twitch and a YouTube. Now, I know I can't usually tell y'all this stuff without my video getting flagged, but maybe since I cracked a little jokey joke in the beginning, y'all get to see it. So um, if you click the link in my bio, you can find both of those things. I post on them way more often. Uh, man, that's really it, bro. Y'all be easy. Man, that's the
the first time I seen a knockout come with two-factor authentication, but that don't make no sense. That man said, I still got some fight. No, you don't. Me. Look, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. If you've ever met me in real life, there's a very, very high chance I have no idea what your name is. And you will never know that I don't know what your name is. Because if you think about when me and you speak to each other, I never call you by your name. No. I always be like, oh, what's good, yo? What's happening, G? What's good, fool? What's up, fam? Yeah, I don't know your name, bro. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's not personal. It's just that most of the time when I meet a person, I know that we probably will never cross paths again. Or if we do, it's not going to be anything consistent. So there's no need for me to remember your name because we ain't got no kind of acquaintance. And that's really the only reason why I do that, fam. So if you ever be like, oh, man, Freddie, you remember my name, bro? Just, just, just come around me a couple more times, but I promise you, I'll give you a nickname and everything, bro. It really ain't even like that. A guy that thinks he can survive a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> oh, brother, you don't understand. That was never the goal. See, surviving and rebuilding society just so we can go through all of this nonsense all over again. I don't want that responsibility. If we have a zombie apocalypse, I'm assuming that we finally got the karma we deserve as a human race. I mean, we ain't did nothing but tear everything up. It's time for the reset button. But before I go, I don't want to die normal. I want to go out with a flashy exit, some pizzazz, if you will. So it's kind of like Call of Duty, just round-based survival. See how long I can make it because getting stuck for the rest of my life around corpses with maggot mouth, that don't sound like a fun time at all. Now, I, I don't know what I thought was going to fall in that car, but I know for a fact that wasn't it. This this must be what it felt like to be parked too close to an Avengers fight and Hulk get mad. But that's unfortunate, dog. And the craziest part about this video is I bet that man boss still called him asking when he was going to make it in, bro. That's unfortunate. And then the insurance company will be like, I don't think we can cover that. I think I'm over here screaming about him. Meanwhile, I'm over here Googling why eggs don't taste like chicken. Hmm. You know, uh, sister. I ain't never even thought about that. Chicken don't taste like eggs, and eggs don't taste like chicken. Mm mm mm. That is that is mind blowing. Well, shoot, don't really matter to me as long as you give me peace. So juicy. Look at that. If I'm being honest, I've never seen a more fitting name for a restaurant. The butcher. Because that burger looks fresh off the chopping block, you donut, that's raw! And you have the audacity to call it juicy. Bloody hell. I am absolutely willing to look past the fact that you redeployed a knife after you threw it, which I don't even want to know how you got the confidence to do that. But only if we're going to acknowledge the fact that you got an Assassin's Creed blade dispenser on your wrist. Where can I get one? I named my daughter Chlamydia because I contracted the disease from her father. But but what the baby do though, dog? You don't think that postpartum punishment on the infant is crazy? I can only imagine the burns that's gonna come from that later. The baby's gonna be pissed. <laughs> Get it? That's a chlamydia joke, cause you know it burn when they pee. Yeah. Ah, that poor child. Never stood a chance. Luckily, that was just satire. Someone tell me what a normal amount of money for a 23-year-old in their savings account should be. Um, did you say savings account? As in the place for all the excess money. Right, right. Yeah, when I was 23, the only thing that I could account for was all the times that I needed savings. So if you got anything in your savings account, I think you're going in the right direction. Dumb and dumb and done found him a new companion. That's nice. But all oh, that poor child. It's gonna be hard to explain getting drop kicked by an inanimate object. Especially a kingdom sized mattress. But don't you worry, child. You're gonna sleep tight after I guide your soul to the crossroads. More things that bring black and Asian people together are high rates of homophobia, parental discipline, and fried chicken. Oh, bro didn't even leave room for you to gasp in that sentence. He was loud and right. Hmm. <clears throat> what up? That chicken you were talking about, dude. Mind if I have a piece? Oh, let's go! Man, let me blow y'all mind right fast. Now, see, when you cut from that fabric that everybody ain't cut from, you move at a speed that can't be captured by the human eye, man. And just like that, 
999 cuts. Now I know you probably thinking it still looks whole. Check your pants. Yeah, that's me. I come from that get the last leak generation and I just really took it to heart. And so I really want to be the greatest at it. I'm the king of revenge. Now granted, I don't always take that route. If I do, God help you. I'm going to always be willing to take it a step further than you, you know? Now, granted, when it's all for fun and games, I'm going to stay within the confines of the game. But when you start a prank war, oh, it's a wrap. You throw a snowball, I'm coming back with the snowman. You swing a pillow, I'm swinging a mattress. If you get a mattress and think that you're going to even the playing field, I'm coming back with a couch. And these not even made-up scenarios. These things actually happened in real life. I'm that petty. So that's why I always tell people, don't start no stuff, won't be no stuff they tell you not to compare yourself to others but you do it anyway because well it's just you and you. i've made content for 14 years for 12 of those years i was dead broke that means if you watch my content any longer than the last two years you have always been doing better than me financially but for some reason because i got 3.7 million followers on tiktok and 2.1 on instagram i got clout people thought i was rich for what i've never tried to paint that picture never have those pages aren't monetized they still aren't but you assume that they were because most content creators try to portray this image that's not true, not me. I'm going to tell you the truth, brother. I've been struggling right along with you. That's why I can laugh at the same jokes that you can laugh at. Now I'm doing better because I've been doing YouTube for the last two years. You know, I ain't rich, but I got enough. I got more than I need so I can help people. But I'm not Mr. Beast. Well, let me reintroduce myself. He wanna... Oh, dear God. This is not merely a skill that you possess. You have mastered the craft. You have mastered the art of illusion. Now, although this power can be taken away with a mere wet wipe, it is still quite impressive, although it does seem like wizardry. We're Norwegians. Of course we have some video. Oh! Well, all right then. She came out swinging. Um, I'll be honest. Before this video, I had no idea what it was like to be from Norway. But after hearing what y'all had to say, I think I liked who I was 20 seconds before. A win is a win. Seats, proof, timeline, screenshot. Yeah, and, and like, the thing is, you really can't even say nothing because bro let them put it on him. You know what I'm saying? Thought this was fashion, uh, auction. That, that crazy, bro. Like, you could just tell it wasn't no shade in the room when they thought of this. I, I don't know how this game even got... Past for real, but yeah. Hey, I'm gonna take the back seat on this one. This is an actual picture of Kanye West's new teeth. Kanye West got all his teeth taken out and then spent eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars on a pair of titanium teeth. I don't know who was responsible for taking them out, but they need to lose their license and then he need to be admitted into the Arkham Asylum immediately because this don't make no sense, fam. Them look like cartoon teeth. Them look like the rear bumper on the old school truck, but that don't make no sense, dog. They look like a permanent spearmint rapper grill in his mouth. We used to do that back in the day in elementary school. Take the spearmint rapper and put it on teeth. They act like we was the rappers, bro. This don't make no sense. Didn't know alio e olio is garlic and olive oil in Italian and spaghetti. I, I didn't know, if I'm being honest, but I still don't feel educated because I'm not even certain that you pronounced that right. You said alio e olio, roly poly olio. I ain't never heard that word before, fam. Sound like you started yodeling mid sentence. You might as well hit that Patrick little Italy. An onion ring legit stuff with brisket and cheese. And I'm so surprised no one has ever made. <clears throat> oh, but man, you know, in 1775, there was a famous speech by Patrick Henry. And he says, oh, give me liberty or give me death. And, and as I gaze upon this magnificent thing that you done came up with, you know, the onion ring stuff with the brisket and the cheese. I think about the the damage it could cause to the human heart. And although it may be detrimental to my survival, I still gotta ask, will you give me liberty? You give me peace. Oh, I can do that. I did it. You you didn't do that. You outdid yourself, girl. I see you, okay. They might not see you, but I see you. I mean, like I ain't got my glasses on, so I can't see you. But I see you, if you hear what I'm saying. I was supposed to be doing my little gym thing. But, you know, it just I was lacking the motivation. It ain't the same when you ain't doing it as an athlete. But, shoot, after I watch you, hey, oh, God, I'm, I'm hype. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get my swole on. I'm be in the gym. Eh, eh, it, it. Mm-hmm. I don't know why you surprised, boy. You went outside in some slippers and thought you wasn't going to slip. 
Come on, fam. That wasn't even karma right there. That was Mother Nature telling you to sit you. You ain't never had nobody tell you that right. The sit you with the lip all folded up. Yeah, that's what it was. Go back in the house and put on some clothes. Not gonna lie, I immediately thought when I saw this video, it's not the best way to think if you're from Germany. And then I surveyed the video again and, you know, observed your appearance and realized that you wouldn't have had that problem anyway. This is Nigosaurus. They lived during Cretaceous period. So, so let's just go back a little bit, right? Because I'm hearing what you're saying, but I'm not like seeing what you're saying on the screen, right? Because I heard a Niger, you know, that might be a Nigersaurus. That, that ain't no Nigasaurus, though. Yeah, yeah. Shaq is a Nigasaurus, okay? And Nigasaurus was endangered way before the comet even came. They was being hunted by the Triceratops. <laughs> now, I'm no mathematician, but let's do some math, okay? Stay with me now. Shout out to Ocho. So, so if this is what she did to the door. Mind you, the door didn't even do nothing. So let's just start right there. Zero plus zero equals that. Mm. It's already not looking good for you, fam. So then, so then we're going to try to like, actually, we're not because I can't even try to conjure up a, a thesis as to what it is a job could have done, even with an algebraic expression, you know, with all the variables and whatnot considered. I still don't know what you could have done to have somebody outside stomping your door with the Crocs in sports mode. But that's besides the point. If, if she did that to the door, who did nothing? And, and you or y'all did something. Uh, what, what, basically what that equals is y'all threw. So when a new kid comes to the school, I was the one that used to walk up and introduce themselves first. You know, that's just me. I wanted you to feel welcome, you know, and I didn't really have a group. I kind of poked in with everybody. So I knew the environment better than most people. Perfect person to introduce you to the school, right? So I'm in art class one day. This little skinny white kid comes in real pale. He sits down at the table by himself. Me and my friend Tyler go up to him, start talking to him, you know, ask him the essentials. What's your name? Where you from? All of that. Um, and, you know, we from a little small town. So we like, you know, you come from somewhere more upscale. What made you come here of all places? He was like, man, I got kicked out of my last school. So I'm, you know, gave him a little up down. Like, shoot, but what, what you get kicked out of school for, fam? And he was like, oh, man, I just threatened to blow the school up. Yeah, and it was like from that moment forward, I always knew that was going to be my dog, man. We still locked in to this day. If he ever having a bad day, bro, I'm still going to wear that green shirt. What's the practical use of jujitsu? So fun fact about jujitsu, um, it actually originates from laundry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just really the ancient study of laundry, man, and people that mastered it. You know, most people, we know how to do laundry a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We get the clothes, put them in the washing machine, toss them in the dryer, take them out, put them on the end of the bed for about a week, and then you fold them up. But people that do jujitsu got so good at it that they be folding the clothes with the people still in it. And so that's that's really what jujitsu is. Now, in my expert opinion, which you can identify by the glasses resting ever so gently on my shotgun barrel of a nose, when it comes to red flags, he's cruising in at about a candy apple red, maybe even a scarlet, maybe one day reaching a Ferrari, but based on the fact that you said 80 days as in 10, 8 times, yeah, that right there should be like police siren red, you know, flashing because an inactive but present father is honestly probably worse than a deadbeat. Yeah, he was better off going to get the milk and not coming back. You should never cut food on a glass cutting board. It's going to destroy your... If you use a glass cutting board, then it'll ruin your knife. And how will we get that nice smile? No smile, no happiness, and then you'll die. If you use a plastic cutting board, oh, it will get corrupted by the microplastics, and then you'll get cancer, and eventually you'll die. But if you use a wooden cutting board, then the bacteria will be perpetually festering the little bitty slits that you created. Eventually, it'll contaminate your food, you'll get sick, and then you'll die. Newsflash, we're all gonna die. Don't talk like one of them, you're not. Even if you'd like to be. To them, you're just a freak, like me. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.